for the other side of the aisle. We're joined now by Democrat Congressman from Massachusetts, a member of the House Financial Services Committee, Jake Auchincloss. Congressman, thank you for taking time. You just heard your colleague, Tony Gonzalez, saying that this is a moment when you need to put your Republican and Democrat hats down and be Americans, fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters first. And he said that the people of Uvalde, that community, wants action. Do you believe that there is a chance? Obviously, we know Republicans come uh, to the table with sort of say, s security for schools and mental health ideas, but yet you and Democrats come wanting gun reform. Do you think this is a moment where it is different? Good afternoon. Thanks for having me on. I'm heartened to hear my colleague on the other side of the aisle say that he believes that we should do everything in our power to keep our kids safe in school. I will say that the NRA does not care about keeping kids safe in school. The NRA cares about money. It is a corrupt organization that whose executives want to fund their corrupt lifestyles and who want to buy off politicians to obstruct gun reform at every step of the way. For the last 20 years, we have been offering common sense gun safety regulations, ammunition regulations, an assault weapons ban, safe storage laws, red flag laws, background checks, the suite of which would have prevented a catastrophe like this. And at every step, the NRA has obstructed it. But Jake, it's time for the NRA to be disbanded. Okay, I understand your criticism and certainly frustration, the NRA holding their convention. We were just uh, having a reporter, Alicia, talking about that. But, but I want to come back here to Washington, where you work. I know you're in Massachusetts now. And, you know, I covered Sandy Hook. It is hands down the hardest story I ever covered in, as a reporter in more than 20 years. And I understand the emotions coming out of uh, Uvalde. We thought that there would be something accomplished through Congress, a bipartisan something accomplished after Sandy Hook. It wasn't. Ten years later, we now have this. So is there, in your opinion, are we headed towards some uh, uh, piece of legislation that maybe encompasses both gun reform and school safety and mental health issues here in Washington? Uh, I, again, th these are straw man arguments from the GOP that somehow mental health or more funding for school security is going to be the silver bullet here. People the world over have mental health challenges. The United States is unique in that 300,000 children since Columbine have experienced gun violence firsthand. Mm -hmm. Republicans say that, oh, the answer to bad guys with a gun is good guys with a gun. Well, 19 good guys with a gun waited in the hallway at Robb Elementary School for 48 minutes from the yeah. first 911 call while there were 100 shots fired. The answer is taking the guns off the street, and in particular, we need an assault weapon ban. It worked in 1994. It'll work again. I I'm a former Marine Corps officer. I slept eight train, patrolled with an AR-15 for four years. I had to use it for three months unloaded before I was even able to put a round in the chamber, and at night we locked it behind three locked doors yep. because the Marine Corps takes gun safety seriously. Apparently the NRA does not. Hey, Jake, let me get your – you mentioned the officers, the 19 officers in the hallway. What is your reaction to learning from uh, the Texas DPS director yesterday telling us that it was the wrong decision to not move faster and to stop the shooter and confront him? 48 minutes, 100 shots fired. Officers need to lose their badges. That is pretty uh, straightforward. And, and you mentioned thank you for your service. It is Memorial Day weekend where we honor the service, valor, and sacrifice of men and women just like yourself who have served, but those who have died. And we will never forget. What's your message this Memorial Day weekend, Jake? Semper Fi Dallas. And I was just speaking to constituents in my district on this subject. This is a day for us to come together and honor those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice and also to think of our brothers in arms and in spirit in Ukraine who are fighting for their freedom uh, linked so dearly with ours. Congressman Jake Auchincloss, thank you for taking time this Memorial Day weekend. Again, thank you for your service. And I look forward to having you back on and talk as Congress comes back to see what does or does not come out of this horrific tragedy. Jake, thank you very much. Molly?